Okay, so now we've added our energy field. Every time we search the area, we need to uh, drop the energy down by one. And this will give us our limit to the amount of time someone can make an, certain actions during an hour. So in our search.plugin PHP page, when we um, give the user an item, just after this we're running a query which says update the user characters table and we're, gonna, we're setting the energy field to equal the energy field minus one where our character ID equals our session um, CID and the account ID equals the session UID and we're limiting it to one. But then it executes in a query. Now because this page never refreshes what we need to do is we need to alter the uh, the energy field or the energy um, on the screen through jQuery. So on our play.php page where I'm echoing out the value of um, the energy here I've wrapped span tags around it and given it a class of C underscore energy so we've got a class to target when we come back over to our <coughs> search plugin page we're just going to start off some script tags So when the page is fully loaded, we want to execute some jQuery. So what we're saying here is we're taking, we're starting a new variable called energy, and we're taking the text of this span and using the parseInt function on it to make it a integer value rather than a string value, and minusing one from it. We're then updating the text of the C energy span with that v uh, new variable. So when we go to search area, as you can see the energy drops <coughs> and every time we search this energy drop keeps dropping. <coughs> so now we need to um, put a limit on it. So if we say, if we uh, put at the beginning here, if our character C energy is less than one, then we want to execute something. Else we want to continue and execute this entire script. And we'll just put that out like that. So if our uh, energy is less than one, which means that we have no energy left, I'm just gonna echo out saying no energy. What I do is I'll just come over to our user characters table and I'll manually edit the energy and make it zero. We refresh and we search the area. It just echoes out saying no energy. And it doesn't give us the option to um, search again. But we still want um, the option to go back to the map. So for now we'll just echo a break tag out and we'll take this entire button paste it in there and just put in our slashes to 
So now when we search the area, it just says no energy, but it's, we still have the option to go back to the map. And every time we do that, we still get no energy. But if we <coughs> say we've got one energy, let's refresh this, and we go search area, we get the option, uh, we get um, an item given to us, and we've got the option to search again. But when we do search again, that's when it says that we have no energy. So now we need to work on reclaiming, you know, sort of reclaiming our en energy. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to set a date and a time but the time itself will only be the actual hour rather than um, hours, minutes and seconds. So if we go into, our, go into our load character data, include file, <coughs> where we're setting our character info, What we want to do is we want to run an if statement and say that if our character, oh sorry, we want to do that after this, if the character, and we're targeting the energy reset field. is less than I think we're going to use the date we'll just leave it at date for now and then we what we're going to reset the um, we're going to update our energy inside of here okay because we're not using a an integer value we're, and we're using a string value, what we want it to say is uh, if it's not equal to the current date, month and year oh, with the hour and that's in 24 hour um, format then we're going to do a query and we're updating the user character and we're setting our C energy to equal 25 and our energy reset to equal the Uh, date so we want D M Y uh, with the hour where the session ID and character ID equals the usual we're then going to want to up just update the character um, energy before it's displayed out on screen and save it so now we've refreshed what we should find is that when we res when we refresh this table we should have an energy reset field in there we don't because we're not actually executing the query so we'll try um, executing that and resetting and now when we reset the but we're not what's going on
Okay, I missed out the um, quote marks around the date, so I was getting a syntax error. And now, as you can see, we have a current date, which is the 19th of the 9th, 2011, and the hour is 22. So, when we do search the area, and we go back to the map, and we refresh, our energy isn't being reset, because we're still in the 22nd hour of this date. Now, this requires no... Um, cron jobs of any sort because um, we're we're checking against a a variable you know a set variable to replenish our energy. Now if we come back and edit this, and we say it's the twentieth hour was the last time that our energy was reset. When we refresh this, you, you'll see our energy will be boosted back up to 25, and that energy reset field will be put back to the 22nd hour. So that's our energy gone back. And our energy reset time has um, been put back to this hour. Alright, so the next um, phase we're going to actually be putting in items into a database for our character and we're going to have one table for our characters materials that will include the compounds extracts raw materials and and stabilizers so what we'll do is we'll just create a new table and call it user materials and we'll give it five fields. Okay, so we only need four. We've got a user ID, a material ID, a material type, and material quantity. We're not giving this any indexes just yet, so we'll save this table. And then we want to create an index on three columns. And those three columns will be the user ID, the material ID, and the material type. And we'll save that. Decided I'm going to change the material type from an, uh, from a varchar to an enum, or an enumerated va uh, field. And we want to make the values of this. We want compound, stabilizer, raw, and extract. And those are our four types of uh, material types that we're going to be storing within this database or within this table. And we'll save that. So now, when we come over to our search plugin, on each of these, we're going to be entering in. Um, the values into the user materials table. So I'll uh, write out the query and then we'll look at it um, in detail in the next video.